Amazing. That's just a normal wand with a little splash of cold red in there. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, this is good. Wait till you put the tile spinner on it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, that worked. Yeah. So he just got done flying the super sealer. Holy smoke. That is the best. That's a, that's a good change. He's gonna groom it in and away we go. So you just gotta make sure you go forward, backwards, side, side, what you do. North, south, you. east, west. You got me, you got me on my shoe again. Mm -hmm. Hey everybody, thanks for checking us out. Welcome to the channel at Sager Steam Clean. We are doing some tile and grout carpet, cleaning, sealing, protecting, doing the whole thing. Probably using Tsunami on the tile and grout. I think he's using 10 below on the carpet and of course Sager Super Sealer. Let me show you what we got going on. Hola, Mark. Hola. <laughs> Hello everyone. So they've already moved all this stuff and roll it. Oh. Today, so we're done. I know, I know. Here, slap it on it. You want me to throw it in the water outside? No. Put her on, buddy. What do you got going here, Tim Below? Code red. Oh, code red. You decided yeah. to go all in. <laughs> oh, there's soil, there's soil here that you can't see. It. Yeah, it's been a while since we've actually cleaned it. The mechanic shop, it's dirty. Oh, yeah. So I already did uh, 3,000 square feet and on one single tank of water, guys with a super spinner. I had an eighth of a tank remaining. It was pretty wild. That means you're running, that's good. I, so I have leg cramps right now, seriously. And yes, I've been late all week with my video, so I just finished getting that up like before I got here. So the video is on the way. And that's on luxury vinyl plank cleaning, by the way. So whenever this video comes out, put it in perspective. But either way, we're gonna set up Christine the butler, which I think might have a water leak somewhere too. I can't find it, but that's Sell a weekend it. project. Sell it. Sell it. <laughs> it's Christine. You can have this one. This will be the new Christine. Yeah, we're all getting, we're punchy as all get out and it, it's a Thursday right now and we're beat. Dead oh, beat. We, st we still got Friday to go, don't worry. <sighs> I know. Actually, Friday looks pretty light as of now. Thank goodness. Well, you know how that, that'll change real quick. Yeah, that's right. I'm knocking on wood there. Sherry will put a five o'clock estimate on oh, the Oh, we have to me. apply protectant on there. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yank them out there. I got some in the pump up sprayer in the back. So do I. Wow, look at that heat. Ah. The what? That heat. Yeah. Is, I, is that a butler? Butlers get no heat. None. Well, you know what? I'm just going to do this got plastic feet under it, so that'll be fine. They all, all do. They all got plastic nubs. Nice. So we don't have to worry about sticky tab and anything. Nope. You sure that's a butler? Butlers don't make no heat. When they're the backpack, they do. <laughs> when they're the backpack. It's the backpack because it carries all the weight. Backpack because it carries the company, he likes to say. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, there it is coming up on 3,000 hours already. Yeah, he's, he's put on some miles and hours. It's getting work out. What did we buy it with? 600? Nine, 900 hours. 900. Nine, like 880 or something? Yeah. Yeah. And 16,000 miles? 12,000 miles? Yeah, I'm up to almost 60,000 miles in two years. That's unbelievable. And 4,000 hours or 3,000 hours I'm pushing or something like that. So if you wonder how busy we are, that'll give you an idea. We clean a lot of carpets and only five days a week because we take weekends off, we try. He's on fire. He's bound to be determined to get this done. There's some dirt. There's some dirt. Look at that. I like that. Look at the grout. <laughs> wow. It's gonna clean up easy. You know why? Because it was sealed. Yep, it was protected. That's the super sealer right there, baby. Look at that. That that's is just, That's amazing. just a normal wand with a little splash of cold red in there. Wait till you put the tile spinner on it. Oh yeah. Insane. 
I'm not taking paint out today. No, I get it. I had that experience today too. It was like, nope, ain't happening. I'm too tired to do it. Yep. Well, I suppose I could be a tiny bit helpful here and move one of the chairs over. Oh, shoot. We got to put protectant down. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> sauna? You do sauna as much? What's that? Do sauna as much? Oh, that's what I was just shaking my head at. I'm tired of being hot. <laughs> Dude, I, I, my legs are seriously cramping. I was running. You're supposed to drink water throughout the day. I know, I didn't have water or nothing with me. I'm so ill-prepared. I got like three carpet cleaners that I need to return calls to and I've been trying and... I just talked to one for a half an hour. Oh no. He's asking me how much his butler's worth. What year does he have? 2001, 4,000 hours, no rust, fresh paint. How many miles? 146,000. Hmm. Original motor? Probably. All right. Well, there'd be a it's buyer. Where's he at? Uh, it's Dave from the Brainerd area. Oh, okay. It's his backup. He doesn't use it and he doesn't have a heated garage. So he's like, I need to sell it while it's in good shape. So, if you're looking for a butler that sounds like it's decent shape, what's going on? Yeah, it's got, it had a couple paint chips. So he had that freshened up. There's there no are. lettering on it, just plain white. Yep, you're ready then. 4,000 hours, 150,000 miles. That'd be a decent van. And he just replaced a few things on it to make it. Okay. He just descaled it, blower clean out, all well, that. So if you're looking for a butler, we might have a line on one. Give us a shout. I'll have you call Aaron. <laughs> I, I, could be the wrong price. I think he said 22. That's not a bad price on today's market, to be honest. For a rust-free van. Yes, that's honestly not bad. Even if you had to put a motor in it, it might be five, six grand in it, but hey. You could make that money back in oh. a month or two. Yeah, a lot. Yep. Done there yet. So he just got done applying the super sealer. So what you do is you take the wand and you go south, north, whatever, north, south, east, west on the same thing. Move to another pattern, north, south, east, west. Then he's grooming it in. The grooming is what helps level it out, spread it out too. So we'll get some super sealer on here and we're going to get all of this back. And as you can see, Aaron is uh, in a definite mode of, we want to be done. Yeah. And I still haven't set up my van. <laughs> nope. We've had a night job every day this week, haven't we? I think so. I don't know, dude. Yeah, we have. We have. I got a, what did we have? Ah, uh, we've had so much. We see, we don't even know what day it is half the time where we're at. So, we, and so in other words, there's a lot of content coming, isn't there? He's going to groom it in and away we go. Look at all of this. Whoa, that's awesome. You can tell where the mats were. Wow. Yep, that's gonna be fun. Clean and seal. Look at that. You look like just like the man on the side of the bands that they have slinging a wand. Except for my arms are longer. <laughs> <laughs> had to go get a rag for my friend Joel. <laughs> oh, would you look at that! Yeah. The crowd and cramp, but he's got it. Also, if you didn't see that vacuum pressure relief, he's got a little bit of pressure relief done on it to make it easier to handle. The tsunami on here is ripping on it though, too. Look at that soil just go away. Look at here. That's like red iron ore right there. Minnesota iron range. Yep. That's it, baby. That's nice. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. What do you got? Hang on, coming to you. Hey, Aaron, coming over. Oh. 
Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, that works. Look, oh yeah, little grinder. Yeah, Aaron just said that's not even dirty. Do you believe him, Brady? Not, not, even, not it, too bad. It didn't need to be done. Yeah. Tsunami. We did not agitate. Some of you with smaller truck mounts and maybe different chemistry, you might have to agitate. Or get yourself some tsunami and do less agitating. You won't be as agitated. Pun definitely intended. What's that? <laughs> Night and day. That is so awesome. Dude, that's the best. That is the best. That's a that's a good change. I get some video on my phone here. Yeah, just a little uh, little time of grout action with some tsunami, Sager tsunami. We just put it down and started cleaning. What do you think, Brady? Just put in work. Yeah, that stuff never works. <laughs> Doing its job. It is awesome. All right, we're back. That is so insane, buddy. <laughs> Just feeling it. We're also going to seal this, by the way, so we'll show you how that is done, too. That is called the flop and mop method. You apply it on, it's not a wax, it is a Penetrating solvent sealer, odorless too. Uh, Aaron's calling me. Dude, clean up, clean up my footprints. Oh man, I should have had a rag down there for my good friend Joel. I'm almost fell down, dude. Holy smoke! Hang on. I need a picture of that. Tic tac toe. Oh, I can do that. One second. Well, as he continues there, let me continue to the back. Let me do the right thing and put down a rag for my good friend Joel. <laughs> there. Got it. Oh, it's all clean now. It's all better. Not as soiled in here. But there is some in there. Boy, are they going to be surprised when they show up tomorrow. Yeah. That's going to be bright. I do love the look of it in here, too, and the video is looking fantastic. So the one thing people need to know, when you're using high pH cleaners, you have to rinse really well. I get calls all the time using other competitors' products where there's a residue left behind and of course they apply our super sealer and think that's the problem. Super sealer has no cleaning ability, it's an invisible barrier. So what you're doing is if you didn't rinse thoroughly, you will be leaving residue back there. Our tsunami is designed not to leave a residue. Now, there can be some porcelain tile and grout issues out there too. The porcelain, and there have been some issues, they are correcting that we know now, but if you let it dry, it'll, it'll meld into this fake finish they put on them. Not good. So it's nothing in the, in the formula of the super sealer, but even our tsunami, any cleaner can sometimes create with a high pH a problem on porcelain. This is porcelain. We're not going to have a problem because we're keeping it good and wet. He's and dirty, wiping dirty his my clean. Yeah, he's dirtying up his clean floor. Valley, yeah, I saw that.
Got to get under there. There he is. It fits. I don't know what that is. Chip? Yeah, that's a chip in it, actually. No, that's a fake wood knot. Oh. <laughs> that's supposed to be in there, Brady. It's meant to be up north, woodsy. You feel it? Yeah. Feel real, the woods. Real homey. Yeah, we're feeling it. We're feeling really homey right now. So look at me being helpful. Brady, can you believe it, how helpful I am? Yeah. Once in a while, yeah. Yeah, oh, he, Mark, <laughs> set, settle down. Settle, settle down. Well, this will be kind of some of the last video and I'll do here with you, but that bathroom in there is really ripe too. I bet you there's gonna be a surprise of what color those grout lines are. Well, you got this handled, no problem. All right, we'll seal it down, flop and mop it, and work our way out the door. This is gonna go quick. Yeah. Notice how clean that blue cover is? Well, it kind of needs more cleaning, but. Uh, yeah, I gotta clean that up. That's embarrassing. Don't get, used, don't get used too much. Did you hear about the All-American Super Spinner today, dude? No. I got something spilled on it on the top. Oh, it marred no. the finish on the top. It, it destroyed my day. I'll tell you, it destroyed oh, me I for the first it. half hour. I was so yeah. irritated. That's I mean, a one of a kind. One of a kind. I am. So I might have to get a sticker on that area, like watch our YouTube channel. Yep. Yep. Uh, Take advantage of a bad situation. That's right. What do you got, Super McFly? Hi, <laughs> right, Aaron, what are you doing? Plying sealant. He's plying the super sealer. Now he's applying it to the whole surface. All works. It's gonna only penetrate in the grout. It is not a wax. It is not an acrylic finish of any nature. It is a penetrating solvent sealer. We're gonna show him. Then what he's gonna do is grab the flat mop and he's gonna mop the whole thing around and in. Now what happens on the top of the surfaces? Well, he slides and goes. That, there's nothing it's going to do. It'll stay wet and slippery, by the way, and then you dry it and you're fine. But, whoo! I told you it was slippery. Work it, work it. Now you just work it in. You try to get in the grout lines, make sure it absorbs. That's all you do. When you see it starting to turn white going across the grout lines, it's actually good. I mean, it's just, it's activating in it. See that? Okay, so what's happening on the surface then once it's done? This is gonna dry off, essentially flash off. Anything that's remaining on it is, will wear off, but you'll never see it. It doesn't have much, most of your tile doesn't have a lot of uh, porosity, porous, it's not gonna absorb. There may be 5% will get into a ceramic, I've heard. Don't quote me on it, just what I heard. So there he is, he's putting it down. Now, you don't need a ton, by the way. No, just a misting. Mist it on. If you're gonna pour a puddle, that's fine. But it does not take a lot of, of sealer. Because his mop is filled up right now. Yeah, it's getting in all the lines. So he's just pulling and dragging what he's got extra there, by the way. So now that Brady's done, we're gonna get out of there too, and we're gonna start going in the back and working our way this way. So you work your way out. What happens if it's drying and somebody crosses it and gets a footprint in it? Just take and activate it again with some super seal, it'll take the footprint right out. Yeah, that's why I'm mopping my way out. Yeah. All right, I need more sealer too. Need more sealer? Yeah, I think I, I ran all it. I think I got a gallon or two in the back. I got a few as well. Okay. See you there. Oh, Christine is starting to silence down. That's like the silence of the lambs. So what he's gonna do is if you needed to, you he's got an test. air mover. You can test and see what it's gonna do. Have and to also, by drying at 10, 15 minutes, speed drying, say, you can walk across it or your clients could walk across it, but a couple and hours. And they're less likely to slip if you got it dry. Yeah. All right, it might look cool and shiny right now, but it's gonna dry to a natural finish. There will be no evidence of the sealer on it. It's not gonna be shiny. So when it's done, it's gonna be just like the dry surface here. Dry, no shiny. You don't want shiny. Wax is not good on tile and grout. If you put wax on tile and grout, we aren't going to yeah, clean it. Don't come back in. <laughs> don't call us. It is the worst. Let me see what you got there. The bomb. The drink of champions. The drink of champions. You don't, just throw it on the ground. Don't drink it. Don't drink it. By the way, when you are applying this, what you want to do is a wand to keep it away. Any protectant sealer, no matter what you do. The other thing is keep kids and pets off. Wait till it's dry. 
24 hours it'll be totally sealed up and set, but I mean, we've seen it active within an hour or two where it'll protect. I've seen Gatorade spoiled on it. Sorry. But for know. kids and pets, they lick the, well, the kids aren't licking their paws, but maybe they're your kids, your fur babies. So you want to keep them off there. Again, it's a solvent base. So keep them just off until it's dry. It's the best thing to do. <laughs> Getting punchy? Yep. <laughs> yep. I just threw her out there. Threw her out there. Punt! Hey, that was what the rebuilt me. Not bad. Woo! They'll be recruiting me. <laughs> What's it, rookie of the year? Yeah, That's rookie of the year. <laughs> yeah, what? It's that rookie. leg's got all the power now. Yeah. Bionic. He's going to do tryouts for being a punter. See him applying it? Just boom, squirting it over. He's going quick. Doesn't take a lot. No. Just go fast and then go whoop, 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 whoop. Come out Just the door. Just get some on there so you can mop her around. And you know what? Then you don't have to do them things with the roller on a stick and do all that. They, they're, remember doing that? <laughs> no, <laughs> they're it's terrible. not fun. No, not at all. This here, you can put it down and it's a good working sealer. By the way, we had some dirt footprint in there tracked on it. That will not clean it, by the way. It will not clean anything. No, nope, it's not a cleaner. So if you leave something behind, like I was saying, like your own chemistry or you didn't rinse enough, you'll see white haze. It's not from the sealer. That's gonna be invisible. So he's working his way out, shut off the lights. We're gonna just keep that fan going there for a little bit. Again, if there's a footprint, you just reactivate with it, it'll take it out. Remember when I said it wouldn't be shiny? It's just shiny while it's wet. It's gonna dry flat. He's gonna mop it in, work his way out, I guess. Yep. Again, see where it's turning white in the grout lines? Bubbling up, that's just airing out. Don't worry about it. That's perfect, <laughs> no problem. You definitely got plenty on that mop. I think mm -hmm. you might have too much, to be honest. You could have a little mop. So you don't need that much, just so you know. <laughs> it is just a trickle, you can see it. It's a trickle, yeah, you can see where it's Dry, so the mop is collecting it too. Yeah. So you just got to make sure you go forward, backwards, side, side is what you do. So as you watch him, he'll go north, south, you. east, west. He okay. got me, he got me on my shoe again. Mm -hmm. You see that? That's what you do. Get it in the grout lines. Yep. I'm going to grab that. It's just a plain old microfiber mop, by the way. So what he's doing is he got a little heavy up there and he's pulling it back here, but it's... I think the color of the tile is making it more visible too. Okay. Yeah, it's getting in there. I can see from here. Yeah, that's it. Yep, that evened out. Wild part. See the door there, Aaron? And you see where it looks brown in the grout mm -hmm. in the tile there? It's reflecting now. Mm -hmm. We didn't have that reflection earlier. No. So we still have this to go. So when you apply it, you just, little, little bit. See that? Just that little bit. And that's a lot. Seriously, that's a lot. It'll go a long way. Anybody home? No. Nope. <laughs> go away. Now you have to apply some. Okay, see how quickly that, that mop just dried up, you could say? Now we have to apply some more. Because now it's not getting into the grout lines as much. There. Now it did, but he's having to press on that mop to get it go in. So we'll give it another shot and hit her. Guess that's my cue. Okay, I'm just ahead here of the cabinets, Aaron, if you see me. Yep. Okay. Careful, right about there. You're playing hockey. So the last time I did this, I did a terrible video with no good audio. It was last minute. And that video is on my YouTube channel. Maybe I can make something a little better with some better audio and show this. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. So I'll tell you, it's been quite a while since we've been in here. That super sealy really helped. Mm -hmm. Oh, piper down. Yeah, that's yeah. a little dry there now. Go ahead. See, just that amount. That's all it took. You remember how many square feet of tile and grout? Well, even the carpet. How many total square feet was there? You have to take off your shoes and socks to count? About 2,000. 2,000 square feet. So in 2,000 square feet, maybe a gallon and... How, you didn't have a full gallon in before, did you? Probably, probably took about a gallon for all of it. Gallon for all this in 2,000 square feet. Okay. Including the carpet. Including the carpet. That's darn good. We say about 1,200 square feet, but you know, we're just... 
because some stones and travertines and stuff will absorb more, so you kind of got to cushion it. Oh, the old Rubbermaid's taking a beating today. Oh, that just means... That's it, what it does when it's dry. That's what happens when it's dry, yep. She's still shiny. I can see it drying over there, though, where we started. In other yeah, words, you're telling me, to do it now too. telling me to get out of here? All right, fine. You're going to video from over there. <laughs> Apparently, I've been put in my place and told where to go. <laughs> Don't put baby in the corner. That was a line from earlier today. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nobody puts baby in the corner. That's right. My wife's favorite movie. Of all things, silly. <laughs> Nobody's lifting anyone, though. <laughs> <laughs> I have a video on that too one time on a live Facebook. It was funny. We're, yeah. And that's it. Final mop up. We're out. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I'm gonna need a rag. You're gonna need a rag? Here you go. A rag for Joel? Mm hmm. Something in there. Not a towel. Not a towel. It's a rag today, Joel. Uh, may I ask where the light switch is? It's over there. <laughs> I swore it was right there. <laughs> All right. That'll be the end of it. And what we do is we just take and rinse that off. Yep. And uh, with just hot soapy water and mm -hmm. we're done, right? Look at that rug. That's beautiful. God dang, that came out nice. Yes, it did. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, got a little early on the door close. So you just release the pressure and he's holding the wand in the air so it'll drain back into the tank. I don't want it to leak in my van. No leaking and it, then it won't seal the tip either. Yeah. Oh, oh, they almost didn't well, make that. Like a twig oh, from the ceiling. Did you see that? <laughs> I had it down a little, it was a fast door. Mark almost lost some limbs. I was gonna get squashed limbs. like a bug. He <laughs> got pinched. <laughs> dude, dude. You gotta, be, you gotta be quicker than that. Oh my gosh, that was, uh, I shouldn't have, yeah, I should have given myself a little more room. A little bit higher. <laughs> a little bit higher. Oh, look. So he's just cleaning off that right now before he starts rinsing it off? Yeah, because I don't want to put protectant all over here because every time right. it rains, there's going to be a dry spot. <laughs> so there'll still be some. But what you do is you can take it back to your shop, rinse it off. Probably be careful where you rinse it off. Wring it out, dry it, reuse it. Done that one time or two? Never, you'll never see a dryer spot. Never see a dryer spot, yep. To rinse Water it up. down. Water down. Thanks. Yep, that got me again. That... You got me in there, so you I had see to get that you back. Again? Those were newer shoes. Yep. Figures. And it's raining on it. Okay. He forgot to shut his. No, no, I'm good. Here's my rag for Joel. <laughs> had to put that away. All right, everybody, it's starting to rain on us, but. Thanks so much for being here, checking out the channel. Maybe give us a comment, a like, and a thumbs up. Time and, out, Mark. And, what? Yeah, okay. Time out. Yeah. Look at your shirt. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh, man, oh, they got me again. But anyway, maybe even consider subscribing. So we have all kinds of hijinks going here. But thanks again for being here. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Check out some more greasy, grimy video we do doing. Maybe he'll put a good one up here. Maybe I'll get something done right. Okay, thanks again. See ya. Bye. Yeah, bye. Yeah. Hi ladies, hi, hi girls, I know, I know it's raining out, are you going to go potty though? No, oh, you're going to go out, huh? Oh, Luna says, let's quit picking on Luna, she says, come on girls, let's go, come on, come on, let's go, potty time, look at you go, I know, I know it, come on sweetheart, oh I know it, come on, let's go, oh look at you go, hey, don't be taking off too far, okay, I don't have time to run and probably can't chase you anyway. What do you think, Luna? Huh, honey? Hi. Look at yes. Oh, such a good girl. Miley, it's over by the pontoon boat. Come on, Miley. All wet, honey. Come on, let's go. Where's that other puppy? There she is. Where are you going, Miley? Wow, she's being a handful tonight. Well, good girl. Good girl. Come on. 
What? Do we got treats? Do we need to go in and get treats? Do we need to go in and get treats? We do potty treats. Oh, potty treats. Now where are you going? Ha! Ha! <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on, let's run. <laughs> Come on. This is short runs. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Oh, look at you go, Miley. Oh, he's she's pulling the round box. Oh, look out, Lu Luna. Come here. Here she goes. Oh, now I gotta go get him. All right, everybody. Thanks again. Take care. I gotta go get my dogs. Sure. It is. Hi, Chuck Duck. Hi. Come on, let's go. Treats. Potty, puppy potty treats. All right. Come on. Oh, cameras. Yep. Oh. Let there be light. <laughs> what a mess in here. My goodness. <laughs>